and just like that out of nowhere i was surprised when an update notification popped up on my phone on my google pixel and it's android oreo jermaine here and let's check it out I think there's three main things that you will notice with the new update with Android Oreo. The first is that the notification shade now, instead of focusing on a darker color, it focuses on more of a white kind of look. Personally, I think I like it. It looks a bit more clean, a bit more well thought out, and I think Android is becoming more and more for every consumer rather than just for tech geeks and developers. And I like the way Android's heading there. The next thing you will definitely notice as well is the speed, the launcher, apps, everything just loads much, much quicker than before. I've got in real time here, even the phone booting up. Google has said that they've doubled the speed at which it boots up and does various functions. And as you can see, feels extremely quick. Another feature that you will notice, especially if you watch YouTube as much as I do, if you consume content as much as I do, is the picture-in-picture -picture feature that Android has now built into YouTube. And in fact, any app can make use of that as long as they integrate the APIs. It's just a really easy it's a very good implementation of the picture in picture functionality it kind of moves around with you you can move it to wherever you like I know Samsung phones have had something similar in the past but never felt as smooth as the pixel feels running Android O there's no stutters no slowdowns everything's updating quickly all the new apps are updating quickly everything's just really really fluid Another thing Google promised is that they'll be cracking down on battery power usage and battery optimization. One of the places where it's very clear is in the notification shade. You can see the apps that are running in the background. I've got Gmail that pops up and Android tells me how much battery power Gmail has been using, how much processor time it's been spending. These things were available in the past, these features were available, but this time they make it much more accessible to anyone and everyone. You don't need to dig for it, and I think Android is going to be better for it. You can also change the notification settings individually. You can press and hold and make granular changes to much more things than, than before. There's of course Google Play Protect, um, which they announced as well, more battery life, and a whole host of other features that Google have addressed on the Oreo website. Google has introduced new emojis. They've changed the old look of the emojis and updated the style of it as well. Personally, it's not one of my favorite moves. I think they looked better before and now they just look more like a weird combination between iOS and some sort of other ugly emoji system. Only time will tell, I'm sure I'll get adjusted to it. They also did boast that they included over 60 new emoji, which should be interesting. I felt like there were a lot of emoji in the past and I never felt like I didn't have an option that I wanted, but I'm sure it's not something that people will complain about. Another thing is the ambient screen, which kind of makes a comeback. I remember it being a bit more detailed than the new screen. Um, nonetheless, it's it's a nice little touch-up. It, it's a bit more simple, but it looks really nice. And again, more in keeping with what consumers are looking for nowadays, especially with Samsung and even LG upping their user interface game and how well their phones function. Of course, Apple's always been a competitor and I feel like Android, stock Android, doesn't feel like a sacrifice anymore as it may have in the past. I'll keep playing with Android O and I'll get back to you guys hopefully with a new update with a bit more of a review of how everything runs and how everything feels and more of a verdict on the new Android Oreo operating system. See you later.